What's up, everybody? It's Sir Mel. Oh, coming to you from the one and only Small Fry Show. We're going to continue talking about this snow since we in it tonight. But before we get too deep in this thing, you already know what I need you to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come join the family. Also, the views and topics expressed in these, video, in these videos are mine and mine only. They do not represent the company I work for in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I am not a spokesperson for said company. Now that we got that out the way, hopefully everybody having a good night. We don't want to get too excited right here, coming down this hill. Um, it's slushy, man. It's a, it's a snow ice mix. Um, it's accumulating, as you can see. And they, they, they probably can really come through and plow this, man, because it's getting, the temperature's dropping. They're calling for three to five up through here. Um, we up here in Pennsylvania, heading back to Columbus, Ohio. We gonna head home, back to the terminal. We ain't in no rush though. We be there when we be there. Um, I'm gonna get a set of winter blades put on this truck when I get back to the shop. I have a set of winter blades put on. But it's not bad tonight. It's supposed to get worse as the night goes on, as it progresses, but this ain't bad. We can deal with this. Um, Last year, uh, when I was pulling tanker, I was running up this way. One of the main customers was up in Elma, New York. I got the first snow, it was December 1st. The first really big snowstorm. I, I actually got a video on here on that day. It was my first big snow up here that I encountered. It may have came, you know, earlier than that on a day I wasn't up here, but that was my first day. So we a couple weeks early, we are exactly a week you know, away from being Thanksgiving, so it's pretty much here. I saw maybe a day this weekend, and then Monday night, they're calling for like another one to three up here. I mean, that could change between now and then. So, but pretty much that just lets me know we're in the, you know, cold time, which they get a lot of rain and stuff up here in the summer and spring in the wind, so it just switches over in the winter, so a lot of wind, a lot of precipitation. We're just gonna deal with it. That's all we can do, be as safe as we can be. Um, you see the main roads are just wet, slushy in spots. They got a little more um, cars and trucks out on it, so they ain't, uh, it ain't too bad. We're gonna see what 90 looking like. I do see just by switching in that parking lot, that little bit of slush, I, I was breaking traction, trying to get hooked up, so it, and these single axles get, get, get stuck really easy. This is my first job where I've, I've driven a single axle, but never been assigned one. I only drove it once, like as a spare truck. This is my first job where I'm actually driving a single axle. So let's just take this video to brush up on our winter skills, you know, following distance, things like that, but being prepared. Also, I made a video, I'm gonna reshare it. I've started to reshare some of my older snow videos when I was pulling tanker. Uh, as, I, as I've said in previous videos, that um, LED lights, you know, they are bright. You gotta be careful on ramps when you're turning and stuff. But you don't wanna break traction either. You break traction, try to get this little incline right here, it's gonna be, you're gonna have to roll back down, you know, and with a set of doubles, they're gonna get all, all twisted and crooked. Um, LED lights, I'm sorry, I had a brain lapse right here. See, it's just wet right here. It's just wet, it's good right here. Um, showing 34 on the temperature, so we right around freezing, but the road would be a little warmer than that, but it may be spots where the states will have to get out and salt, you know, the bridges, things like that. There's a little bit of slush on the road, I can see it. 
Yeah, that comes with experience and being able to, you know, do this and know what to look for and what not. We're kicking up spray, so that's a good sign. If the road is ever shiny, looking wet, and you ain't kicking up no spray, you know you're on ice. So that's something to watch out for. Um, but we good. It's windy, but we got we got a 21 and a lead and a 20 on the tail, so we good. We going you know, we ain't in no rush. But LED lights. So as I, I'm gonna reshare the video, but let's just talk about it now. The LED lights. He's got LED lights. They're bright. They're very bright. But they don't got the heating element in them. Now I know they're starting to come out with some updated LED headlights, tail lights, things like that, that do have the heating element in them. But a lot of these trailers and stuff don't. Nobody's gonna spend the money on them because they're expensive. So that's the downfall of them. They're bright, but they lack the heating element to melt the snow off. So when it snows, if you got LED headlights, they gonna be covered in the winter. Same as the tail lights. You'll need to be getting out, cleaning them off, checking them. Because they're going to get covered. And you ain't going to be able to see. Everybody's going to be able to see you. And you ain't going to be able to see because your headlight's going to be covered. Uh, as you drive over the snow in the road, it blows back. That's why you'll see trailers. They'll have snow up at the top of the trailer. Because the snow, we drive over, it blows, creates a whirl, and it swirls up top. Well, that's the same. That's how the lights get covered. And it can make for a long trip and a long day. I've, I've had it. I've had it where the tail lights are the same. Or you had, you know, LED headlights. You need to switch them LED headlights out when it starts. You get that first snow, you need to switch them. But if not, you're gonna be dealing with it. So it's gonna be for a long, unsafe winter. When time is time to put the LED lights up, put them up. So. Um, But yeah, like I said, we're going, we're just going to ease on back, man. We ain't no rush. We got a, look like we got a plow up here running our front door. So that's a good sign because normally, I feel like normally up through here, they don't do nothing really up here, up here to, to the roads, man. This, this section of 90 in Pennsylvania is like 40-some miles. It, it gets a little sketchy, man. They don't do much. So we're going to just sit back and we're going to let y'all ride with me for a little bit. Um... And, and so I talked about twilight and the snow going back in your face. This is what you get. Uh, got a plow over there on the on the eastbound side. He got his hood up, but like he done broke down. So we getting into a little good, a pretty good accumulation right here. Look like the plow up here. He's gonna flip around and check on his buddy. He's still kicking up some good spray. So we sit back and let y'all ride for a little bit. I ain't gonna say much. If something comes up, I'll talk about it. This will be a different type of video. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, yeah, he's putting that salt down. And uh, this is what we deal with out here, man. You can see the shoulders covered. Nobody's over there. So we're just going to ease on back, man. We're going to ease on back. Better to be back late than to, than to not be back. I got plenty of time, though. My, my guy don't go out till uh, 4 45. I'll be back by then, and then he, uh, you know, so I get to running late, I can, I can call him and let him know, shoot him a text, or, you know, he can take another truck, a spare truck or something, so, but we got time, man. We had, it looks like, on, I was looking at the radar, that, okay, so let's talk about that. You need to get you, I use the Weather Channel app, I'm not endorsing them or none of that. They ain't sponsoring this, but the thing with the Weather Channel is they're not good for predicting to me. They're good for the moment. Oh, uh, you don't come on around this guy, man. It's, he's down to 45. He's on his brakes a little bit, too. So, we'll get on around him because it's not, it's just, it's, it's, we're doing all right, man. This, is, this ain't bad right here. So, we're doing 55, the speed limit is 65. This, ain't, this is this is all right right here. We're kicking up spray. So I've been out here almost 15 years, man. Accident free. I've had accidents that wasn't my fault. So I take pride in what I'm doing. I'm sure y'all can see that by the videos. I'm not an unsafe driver. So we're going he's all around. He actually sped up a little bit. But uh. Get you a see. So I'm glad that this happened. So look, this is this has been happening a lot lately, and it's very 
I'm not even gonna lie, it's very frustrating. These trucks only go 65. He was doing, he was 48. I come out here and get around him, he takes off, which is fine. But I'm, I'm seeing it a lot lately with cars and trucks. In the right lane, I only can go 65. I'm sorry, that's all I got. So now he can slow back down, so I'll keep it out here. Oh. Uh, Oh, so you know you in the you in the middle lane doing 58 I mean the right lane doing 5860. I come I come to get around you and then you wake up and take off. So now I'm stuck out there, so I got people behind me. Now I'm trying to get back over. Cool. But then you slow down, I catch you again, I get out there to pass you again, boom, you take off. And it's like, what's what are you doing? I mean if the weather's nice, you should be you know, everybody don't use their cruise control, but that's what it's for to be able to maintain a constant speed. It's your best friend when the weather ain't bad. And it's like, man, what's going on? Like, that's frustrating that I'm getting out there to pass because I can, because you're doing 60, then you take off on me. I slow down, fall back behind you, boom. You do it again. It's just, I, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on out here. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's just wet right here. This ain't bad at all right here. are going off we're not using our cruise control anyway in this type of weather but it's blocked by the ice and snow so that's just basically letting you know it's blocked by debris but it's because of the ice and the snow but like i said we ain't using our cruise anyway so you don't use your cruise in this type of weather it's a good way to lose control and then we're gonna come on out Saying that it won't be slick, but 
you know, 60, we was in the 60s, 50s, 40s, it takes those consecutive days of below freezing for the world to get warm. The same as on the backside of winter when we transition to spring, it takes, you know, a week, week or so of those days above freezing for the road to warm up above freezing. That's why when we go from winter to spring and it'll rain, but it's been cold, the road will freeze up because the road is still wet. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's still cold. So this will be a little longer video, but just, just kind of bringing you along. Show and I'm out. Peace.